Hello. So we're going to do chapter two of Curious George Takes a Job by Margaret and H.A. Ray. In one room, a little boy was crying because he did not want to eat his spinach. George did not even look, but went right on with his work. In another room, a man was taking a nap and snoring. George was sorry it was not his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He listened to the funny noise for a while, then went on working. But what was going on in here? George stopped working and pressed his nose against the window. Two painters were working inside. George was fascinated. Painting looked like a lot more fun than washing windows. The painters were getting ready to go out for lunch. The minute they left, George climbed inside. What wonderful paints and brushes they had, George could not resist. An hour later, the painters came back. They opened the door and stood there with their mouths wide open. The whole room had changed into a jungle with palm trees all over the walls and a giraffe and two leopards and a zebra. And a little monkey was busy painting himself on one of the trees. Then the painters knew what had happened. Luckily, George was close to a door. He ran out as fast as he could. After him ran the two painters, then the elevator man, and then the woman who lived in the place. Oh, my lovely room, my lovely room, cried the woman. Don't let him get away. George headed for the fire escape. George reached the end of the fire escape. The others had not caught up with him yet. Here was his chance. They could not jump. But G George could easily jump down and escape. In a moment, he would be safe. Poor little George. He had forgotten that the pavement was hard as stone, not like the soft grass of the jungle. Too bad. The fall broke his leg, and an ambulance came to take George to the hospital. He got what he deserved, said the woman, making my apartment into a jungle indeed. I told him he would get into trouble, the elevator man added. He was too curious. George had to lie in bed with his leg high up in a plaster cast. He was very unhappy. And it had all started out so nicely. If only he had not been so curious. He could have had a lot of fun. Now it was too late. But next morning, George's friend, the man of the big yellow hat, was buying newspapers. Suddenly he got very excited. This is George, he shouted when he saw the picture of the fr on the front page. Quickly, he read the whole story, then ran to a telephone booth to ring the hospital. I am George's friend, he said to the nurse who answered the telephone. Please take good care of him so that he will get better quickly. I want to take him to a movie studio and make a picture about his life in the jungle. Don't let him get into any more mischief until I can take him away. Finally, the day came when George could walk again. Your friend is going to take you away this morning, said the nurse. Just wait right here for him and don't touch anything. As soon as George was alone, he looked around at all the strange hospital things. I wonder what is in that big blue bottle, he thought. Uh-oh. 
George was very curious. It smelled funny. Suddenly, his head began to swim. Then he felt as if he were flying. Then rings and stars danced before his eyes. Then everything went dark. And this is how the man with the yellow hat found George when he came to call for him. They picked him up and shook him, but they could not wake him up. He was so fast asleep that finally they had to put him under the shower. How surprised he was when he woke up. Oh, I'm in the shower. George said goodbye to the nurse and the kind doctor. Then he and the man with the yellow hat got into the car to drive to the movie studio. In the president's office, George had to sign a contract. Now he was a movie actor. In the studio, George was kept so busy all the time that he forgot to be curious. He liked the jungle they made for him and played happily there. And when the picture was finally finished, George invited all his friends to see it. The doctor and the nurse and the ambulance driver and the man from the newsstand and the woman and, and the woman and the elevator man and the two painters and the cook and the reporter and all the keepers of the zoo. but apparently not the elephant. Now the lights went out and the picture started. This is George, the voice began. He lived in the jungle. He was a good little monkey. He had only one fault. He was too curious. The end.